yes hello viewer and everyone watching this video out there uh, it's me Friday and uh, in this video anyway I've made very many videos and uh, most of those videos have been about um, they've been about education uh, lessons English social studies and many others but specifically I've made this video uh, for the Ugandan people who are still buying data. I know there's time when you get broke. You need to go online, but you are unable to, to to get data to allow you go online and check your WhatsApp messages, check your Facebook. I'm going to give you these settings. Uh, these settings will help you to access your Facebook, your WhatsApp, sometimes in and uh, Google, whatever, YouTube, but it is these settings are for Droid VPN and uh, they will help you to access your, uh, your, your I mean your VPN your, your internet without data yes and now uh, without wasting much of the time I, I'm going to quit I'm going to remove my camera you'll not be able to see me again but I will be taking you through the steps of how you can be able to access your internet without any data on MTN and Airtel. I'm going to minimize my camera so that you are able to see me. Then we shall proceed with the video. So here are the steps. You just go, that is your phone. Uh, you go to your Play Store. You open your Play Store just like that. Like I'm opening mine. Um, then you will search for droid droid vpn just like that and you search of course for me it is already there because i downloaded it some time back then for you if you don't have it you will need to download it afresh and then you put it there after downloading you will open tap on open uh, it has connected automatically just because me already I already had it here now I'm going to take you straight through it now if you just open it it will bring something like start me I've already connected because it is already connected I, I already have it and I have the settings now after that you will come here you'll come here 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 at that at, at those two bars you're seeing in the corner these three bars these three lines you're seeing here here right here in the corner here here in the corner here mm. here that menu and after reaching that menu you will tap on account now me I already have account it is there you will put your name on the account you'll put your name in capital letters and uh, you'll put a password a password that you will not forget in fact when you in, I advise my people that when you're putting a username put your name without a space put your name without a space then you put a password in fact my password is into the codes so that in fact, I don't want you to see my password because you can even log into my account if I showed you my password. After that, you will tap on this button here, say which is it? Save. Let me use a highlighter here. You will tap on this button, save here. That button, save. After putting the account, you will tap on the save button so after tapping on that save button when you tap it it will take you back here mine is connecting automatically very fast because it has every settings that is necessary there then after saving you will tap on this menu again and come back to account now Remember, we've put in the username and the password. Remember that your password should be a six-digit code with uh, uh, numbers and figures mixed. 
six and above. Then after saving your username and password, then you come here and tap on the sign up for free. Uh, you will make sure that your phone has some data in it. You make sure that your phone has some data in it. Now, here you will put, uh, I already have this information personally, like I showed you the other side, username and the password. After filling them there, then you come here and you put the email. You put an email where you want to, in fact, the email you, that, log, that is logged onto your phone. I'm going to use a different email. I'm going to use a different email because I have very many emails on my phone. Like, I'm going to use that one. Now, for you, you'll use the email which is logged onto your phone. Um, then you tick that button, I'm not a robot. I'm going to change this username because I used it for, for another account. I'm going to change it. Then you put in the username and the password, then you put in the email that you use on that phone of yours. Then you scroll down and tap on this button for sign up. Now, when you tap there, you give it time to load. They will tell you that sign up successful, check your email. And they will bring this, all that. That is not very important. But what was important was the other information which was telling us that the sign up was successful. Now what you'll do, you come back onto your main screen, then you open your email. After opening your email, uh, make sure that your phone is, I mean the email which is logged onto the phone is that email you have put the other side when you were sign up, signing up. You will see an email into your inbox, a new email from Braid VPN. Tap on it. After tapping on it, they will tell you that thank you for signing up for Braid VPN and that is your email and that is your password. Now, what is very important is this activation link. Let me highlight it here, this one here. That activation link. It is very important on your email. When you open that email, you have to look at that activation link that I have circled. I've put it in a circle. You look at it. Now, that one you'll have to tap on that activation i've just i had i highlighted it now you tap on it when you tap on it you leave the phone to load remember i told you you have to have data for you to do all this process now they will bring you that your your account is now activated now tap on log to my account tap on log to my account of course you come here put if it is that the username remember here I added one and that username then here check that check I'm not a robot and then you log in Oh gosh, they are telling me that username and password is wrong. If you are not very sure of the username, mm, username, username, did I add one? Yeah, of course. Check this. not a robot log in my account yeah that's it uh, this one 
have very many passwords I have very many I have very many let me check on this you tap on activation 100 MBs daily after that yeah we go back and I go back to this registration yeah the username had two it had two I tap on the activation link then I go check on my account Yes, my account. Okay. Ah, this account was activated in July. Let me log out this account so that I can log in the other, the one day I currently made. So the other one has the same details, but here I added two two there like that then check this I'm not a robot after that one log into this new account remember this one I'm just creating it now I can even save this password remember this one I created it with this email now you have to tap on this let me highlight it so that you can see it this Activate addition 100 MB. That one you have to check it. So you come and tap on activate addition 100 MB. Yes, they will tell you that addition 100 MB have been added. They give you 300 MB uh, for the whole day. You use 300 MB every day. If you finish them, then you'll, you'll be online again the following day. Let's proceed. After there, you come back to the main menu and you come back to the app. Mine is already connected. If it is connected, it should stop. But I want to help you there if you don't have these settings. Now you come back to the menu. Now here, you will come onto these settings. We're going to fill in the settings. After that, you tap onto the settings. I'll give you the UDP settings. These settings here. You come onto UDP connection settings. That one. Then you come and do this. Tap on the UDP settings. Then check this remote UDP. And you put five triple six like you're seeing there. Then you come here, local UDP. You put zero. Uh -huh. Then you come and you check that button, UDP port testing, auto port scan. Check that one. Um, mode UDP mode. You tap here and you select mode one. Uh, then you come to the R account, you put 5,000. You can put 5,000, you can put 30,000. They all work. And then you come onto the R account, you put 114. Press OK. Remember, I'm giving you these settings. They work on MTN and Airtel. Then you press back. You come here and you check the ICMP settings this one remember the other time we were talking about the UDP settings now we're going to the ICMP settings okay you tap here you choose ICMP mode then you select static sec number that one you see after that you press back then you come and select VPN connection settings that one VPN connection settings uh, there you tap on the VPN connection settings 
you activate those buttons like you're seeing mine even these ones hmm? yeah the way you're seeing mine the way they are all there now you come here and tap on MTU I mean turn on MTU size you put that number the settings work well on both MTN and Airtel Press okay now if you're done with all that we are done now with all the settings you come here you select the servers uh, me of most often I use this United States free two. now after that you come and tap on start you wait for it you wait for it now this is a free server we are on a free account it commonly brings that free I mean server for but you have to be patient and keep trying you keep trying you keep tapping and trying yeah you know free things are most especially expensive so you have to be patient whether you're using Wi-Fi or data please it will work for you you keep trying trying yeah let me remove Wi-Fi and I use data I use mobile data yeah let me use mobile data because for it connects faster than Wi-Fi mobile data keep doing that until when it connects mm. it's disturbing this time but I'm sure if you follow the steps I've given you it will connect and it works very well depends some phones it works very fast some phones it works slowly but it will help you just in case you don't have data but you want to get online so you keep tapping and we went to bring connected successfully i believe now it is trying to misbehave but if you follow those steps i've given you it will connect for you and it works both on mtn and airtel let me change my data is in mtn let me change to airtel maybe airtel might connect faster because mtn is trying to delay let me, let me try on airtel let me try it out on airtel it is there trying to connect again you can see that network arrow showing that i have no data on airtel it's trying to connect let's be a little bit patient but i'm sure we're done with everything if there's anything you need to ask you put your comment into the comment section below and i will be able to respond to it if you find any challenges these settings will work for you both on mtn and airtel and you'll be able to access your whatsapp messages you'll be able to uh, uh, google facebook and others but it works very well on social media but for google and the other platforms it works somehow a little bit slow but if your phone is very good and you are in an area which has good network, it will work way for you very well. Yeah, thank you for watching this video. Uh, we shall try again next time. You keep trying, it will connect for you. Thank you for watching. I've been Friday and stay tuned.